Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today, I will explore how to use the Microsoft 365 on my iPad Pro. I know that Microsoft 365 used to be called Office 365. Anyway, at the same time, I want to see if I can use it for free. You know, back in the good old days, Microsoft Office was really expensive. Now, looking at Microsoft's website, it's still quite pricey, but I think it's a bit better compared to years ago. There are different bundles for family use and for individuals, but what I'm really after is to use it for free. You know, just like the Google Suite or what they call now the Google Workspace. I looked at the family and individual offers that Microsoft have and there's a one month trial that I might try also next time. But within these offers, I found under the FAQ section, the link to use Microsoft for free. And as the page says, use Microsoft 365 apps for free for a more productive life. So I went through different steps to see if I can use the apps for free. And I signed in using my Microsoft account, which I already have for some years now. And then I went through the verification process and done. But right off the bat, let me mention that this free version gives me only five gigabytes of free storage. This is of course very limiting and definitely not enough for most of us. Anyway, let's see how the free Microsoft 365 works. So first off, I'm trying to create a new Word document. Strangely enough, it is asking for verification again. And you will see later on in the other parts of the video that this verification pop-up is, uh, is popping up a lot of times. As I clicked on a new document, I'm directed to the Word app that I installed in my iPad. But I cannot edit it as it is saying that I need to sign in with my subscribed account. Of course, even if I know I don't have a subscription, I still clicked on sign in thinking it will know I'm using the free version. But no, it says my account does not have a subscription. So what I did is I uninstalled the Word app from my iPad. Then I got back to the browser and now when I create a new document, then it works. I'm kind of used to this as I use Microsoft 365 at work. So what's different though is that my favorite keyboard shortcut, which is the shift plus control and the arrow left and right clicks are uh, to highlight a line does not work. What I can do is highlight only per word using the shift and option plus the arrow left and right keys. Anyway, other shortcuts for formatting like Command B, Command C for copy, Command V for paste, all work okay. And inserting pictures also works, so seems all the usual word functions are working well on the browser version. This then saves automatically in my OneDrive. Next, I'm moving on to try PowerPoint as it is also available for the free version. I tried at first to create from a template, but it wasn't working. So I chose a simple template. And as I've mentioned earlier, this verification pop-up showed up again. And once I've entered my password again, I can now create a PowerPoint file. The functions are very similar to what we already know. I can create slides as usual, add images, and here I also took a screenshot and copied it and pasted it directly on PowerPoint, and it works. What I noticed though is that the menus are always on the compact look, and there's no toggle to show the full menu. The full menu is available in Word, but in PowerPoint, as you see here, there's no toggle switch to go to the full view of the menus. So some of the functions, you have to find it hidden inside the three-dot icon. 
presenter's view and the basic animations that I've tested work fine as well. And the same as the Word document, it will also automatically save in my OneDrive. So lastly is about Excel. As Word and PowerPoint are available in the free version, so is Excel. Again, when I created a new file, it again asked me to verify and sign in, so I did. And also, same as with PowerPoint, I cannot make the templates to work, uh, but creating from a blank sheet works okay. I'm not really gonna go through the details of the Excel functions, perhaps in another video, let's see. But the usual functions that we are familiar with work okay. Like creating formulas, the basic formulas that I just tested here. With these initial tests I made, it looks like the free version of Word, PowerPoint, and Excel are usable. Now, here are some tips I discovered during my testing that may be interesting for you. First, the free version comes with the editor and it can do the usual spelling and grammar checked in the document. There are other advanced editing or check options, which are unfortunately only available in the premium version. But for me anyway, I'm fine with just the basic spelling checks. Next, don't be deceived of the shortcuts when you press and hold the command key. Those are the shortcuts for the browser and not for the Microsoft apps. Last is about sharing files to non-Microsoft users. This I can do by using the share button on the top right. From here, I can enter the recipient's email address and it doesn't matter uh, if she or he has a Microsoft account or not. The recipient will get an email notification to access the file. And as you see here, the file is opened and user is not signed in. But clicking on edit will allow editing, obviously, and it will be saved online, accessible to the other users. So it looks like the free version of Microsoft 365 is usable. It's just unfortunate though that it only comes with 5 gigabytes of free storage. And this is why most of us are still leaning towards Google. So that's it. Thanks for watching.